in this video we are trying to complete the practical number 1d looking at the practical number 1d i can see there are five different programs which are expected that we should be completing it the first program is of generating fibonacci series the second one is of testing whether the given number is prime or not the third program is of testing whether the accepted character is vowel or not and uh, use of the for each loop with the an array as well as the last program is reversing a number and finding the sum of the digit of a number now what i will doing i will be creating uh, five separate videos in a same program so in a single program only i will be dividing the particular program into five different videos i am not interested in creating five different programs in a single program i will be creating five different functions inside the class and those functions will be called in the main program so this is the structure which i am planning that we should be doing so let us start with the first program that is generating the fibonacci series everybody knows that fibonacci series is used for prediction series whether reporting share market pricing everybody uses the fibonacci series over there so starting the visual studio 2022 i am creating a new project uh, further i am planning to use a language called as c# the type of application windows the type of that operating system windows and type of application console application selecting the console app dot net framework okay console application 14 solution name is also same framework is 4.7 location has been set by us and now here i would like to create one class first inside my namespace so i created a class class called as practical and what is the name of practical 1d so i created a class called as practical 1d and in this class i will be creating five different functions and then in the main program i will be calling the function whichever is required so let us try to work with the first part of the application that is generating the fibonacci series what is exactly this fibonacci or fibonacci series it says 0 then 1 0 plus 1 will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 2 plus 1 will be 3 3 plus 2 will be 5 5 plus 3 will be 8 8 plus 5 will be 13 13 plus 8 will be what you are now you should go on calculating that so the uh, 0 and 1 and then the summations are being calculated and this is the use of what we can say this is the way in which the fibonacci series is what been developed Uh, but when they are saying that generate fibonacci series then i we need to understand that how many numbers you want okay like five numbers in fibonacci series 20 numbers in fibonacci series 30 numbers in fibonacci series so i i am just wondering that they are just displaying generating fibonacci series so i will consider that n number of numbers they want so n should be accepted from the user so here i am planning to create my small program a function for that So I'm creating a function by saying public void generate uh, Fibonacci generate Fibo and then providing n. What is this n is? N is what? Nothing but the number of numbers in a series you need to display. So one number, two number, five number, ten numbers, twenty numbers, and so on. Looking at the Fibonacci program, what is expected? The zero and one should be displayed. So what I'm doing? I'm declaring two variables, saying int number equal to zero, then providing a number one equal to one. So first two numbers I've taken in number and number one, and then planning to display rest of the numbers up to n. So I write a for loop by saying for int i equal to already two numbers are being given. So I'm starting with what we can say three. The third number to चालू करेंगे till i is less than equal to n. and then providing i plus plus so this i is been used as a counter by me so how many numbers you want you should be displaying the number of numbers as 3 up to n so why 3 because two numbers are already present with me that is number and number 1 so here i am just displaying the value of console dot right line the value of number concatenated with value of number 1 right 
So number and number one is what been displayed. You know that backslash and use for body a new line character. Or I will be using to console dot right line over here. Now zero and one is already been displayed by this particular function. Now I need to display the third number. The third number is nothing but the addition of number and number one. So write uh, in number three equal to number plus number one. And then this number three will be displayed. So I'm writing console dot right line. And here providing as what is number 3. Now what is need to be done? What is we are done over here in Fibonacci series? That is what your number is. This is what your number 1 is. And this is what your number 2 is. Number 2 is what a uh, number 3 be here. I mean, the number 3 is what nothing but addition of number 1 and number 2. Now the value of number 3 should be passed to number 1. And the value of number 1 should be passed towards what your number. So I am just doing the same task by saying the number 1 equal to number 3 and oh sorry first I write number equal to number 1 and then I am providing number 1 equal to number 3. So swapping has been done and my program ends. Now how to call this function? The class name everybody knows the class name is what your practical 1D. So I create an object of this class in the main method by providing practical 1d p1 equal to new practical 1d and now i am first of all accepting the value from the user that how many number he would like to display okay but before that i would like to make this program more good more interesting uh, so i am planning to use the uh, uh, a wish from the user that what he is interested in doing whether he is interested in displaying the fibonacci series or the prime number or the vowel etc so I am planning to just display by saying console dot right line and here I just mentioned a message to the user that uh, enter choice and the choice need to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5 programs are there. So let us try to go for displaying these choices also to the user. So here I am providing the choices as 1 for what uh, Fibonacci series. अभी वो टाइप हुए रहने लगा पूरा टाइपिंग आप कर लोगे आपको जब कॉलेज में प्रेजेंट करना है तब अदर अगेन आई एम प्लानिंग टू यूज कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन एंड हियर आई कैन प्रोवाइड टू सेकंड सेकंड प्रोग्राम इज व्हाट वी कैन सी योर प्राइम नंबर सो राइट प्राइम नंबर देन फर्दर आई एम मे बी प्रोवाइडिंग एज कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन द थर्ड प्रोग्राम व्हाट इज बीन एक्सपेक्टेड बाय अस इज नथिंग बट योर वोवल्स Okay, the choice will be either 1 or a 2 or a 3. Agar aapko alag -alag right line likhna nahi hai, so you can use the backslash n over here. That is also more than sufficient. The fourth program is a for each loop. So I am writing 4 for each. So that's a number of statements come ho jata hai. And again I am using backslash n. And here the last one which I need to do as a reverse and sum of digits. So I just write it as what you can say reverse. The fifth program is basically of reverse and uh, the sixth program is basically of sum of digits. So fine, uh, you want to reduce these two lines, you can reduce this two line by adding the same thing over here as saying 1 as uh, Fibonacci series, uh, 2 backslash n, 2 as uh, prime number backslash n3 as vowels so i don't require to write this thing and then further after this console dot write line what exactly i'm interested user should enter the choice right so i i may be providing over here first of all the message and then asking the user to enter the choice so first the message is displayed by me and then i'm asking the user enter your choice and the choice can be 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5. A 6 with an or a 6. And the user will be uh, entering those values inside the variable. So I am just providing in choice. So in choice then I am providing. Uh, okay. Capital no bishop. In choice equal to in dot parse. In the bracket I am providing console dot read line. So value has been accepted from the user. And you have to be there, okay? Semicolon there, yeah.
so value has been accepted from the user and now i would like to manage this thing in a switch case in the classroom only we had learned about the switch case so let us try to work out with the switch case how to implement a switch case is simple switch in the bracket a variable would like to compare so it is choice and in the switch i am providing case case one it means that if the value of the choice variable is one now then what to be done then i need to call for the fibonacci series right so I, I may be writing some kind of statement over here, but uske pehle, main wo jo apna class tha, practical one day, usko object bana kar rakha, it is P1. So I, I just plan to go for specifying what is needed by the function which is developed by us called as Fibonacci series. It needs how many numbers we are interested in what we can say displaying of the Fibonacci series. So I, after the case one, that is if the choice variable value has been one, what I'm planning to do it? I am planning to display a message to the user by saying console dot right or right line. So I am using right over here. यहाँ पे भी write करता हूँ अच्छा लगेगा otherwise वो क्या होगा message display होने के बाद में next line पे accept करेगा. So I am writing console dot right uh, how many numbers in Fibonacci series. So enter how many numbers you want. So here I am planning to go for accepting the value from the user and how many numbers I want to many up a in 10 equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line. So number of uh, numbers which is how many series you want that has been accepted inside a variable called as n. Then the object which has been created by us that is the p1 here I am calling the function called a generate fiber of the series and passing the value of n. So now this function will be what complete in the work of displaying the Fibonacci series. This is a good way of writing the program. When this thing is over, then I am planning to use the break statement. Now other cases I need to write still not yet completed. So prime number etc. That every case we will try to add it inside what your next video. So here I am planning to use a default one. You know that default is what if it is not matching with any one, then I may be providing over your default. And saying that console dot right line wrong entry or wrong choice. And after that, again, I'm planning to use the break statement over here. Fine, my task is what being completed. I would like to wait for a keystroke of the switch case. So I'm writing console dot read key. You don't require to do it in 2019. My program is over again. I'm just trying to explain the structure which has been chosen by me for writing the program. I had created one class called a practical 1D. In that, the Fibonacci series program has been completed by me inside a function called a generate Fibonacci series, generate Fibo. This will be a program which will be displayed in a Fibonacci series. Further, in a main program, I'm display creating first of all the object of the class which consists of all those five functions. Displaying the message to the user like 1 for a Fibonacci series, 2 for the prime number, 3 for the vowel, 4 for the uh, for each loop, 5 for the sum of digit and reverse, so on. So, user will be entering the choice that is accepted inside a variable called a choice. Then, inside a switch case, we are checking what is the value entered by the user of the choice. If the choice is 1, then we are displaying a message to the user that how many numbers in Fibonacci series you want that value of n has been accepted and then n has been passed to the generate Fibo function. So that function will be what uh, displaying the Fibonacci series up to n values and if suppose the choice is apart from one then it displays in a message called as wrong choice. So what about other these choices don't worry here it will be coming up in what we can say the next video. First we will try to run this program so I run this program. Here it asks me uh, what is the choice you are interested uh, a Fibonacci series or a prime number or a vowel or a for each or reverse or sum of digits. Suppose I am entering the sum of digit as a choice then you know that it will be displaying the message to me as wrong choice because program is not yet completed. In the last video you will find all choices are working. Now I enter the choice as one. It asks me how many numbers in a Fibonacci series I want. I just I just want 10 numbers. So you can see. It is 0, then 1, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 5. It is 0 and 1. That is 1. 1 and 1 is 2. 2 and 1 is 3. 3 and 2 is 5. 5 and 3 is 8. 8 and 5 is 13. 
thirteen eight is twenty one, and so on. So this is the logic which is what we can say being completed by us for the fibrotic series. Be with us for the next video. In that we will be creating the function for a second choice that is called as prime number, and that function will be accepting the number and returning the boolean value whether the accepted number by the function is prime or not. So class, when we are developing the program, you see to it that you will be developing in a nice structured way. Na? You are learning object-oriented programming, and everything is written by you inside a main method. And what's the use of writing and learning object-oriented programming? So try to go for implementing the object-oriented concepts over here. We had seen where we had created a class, we had created a function, we had created an object, we had used the switch case. So everything is what nicely been uh, merged by us over here. Now in the next video we will try to look at the another cases also. So stay tuned with us. वही अपना regular subscribe करो, as well as the bell notification icon होता है उसको click करो. So my next videos, upcoming videos will be always being uh, seen by you. That will be helping you to score better marks in practical. Add on to it, I will be providing you various theory materials also. So I will be providing you various links where we can get the reference material. question answers and even if the job supports also but for that you definitely need to go subscribe with us so be with us in our next video thanks a lot